The Narratives grouping feature in the 3D Inspection System Report Writer can automatically number a group or series of comments you select together to make them stand out, or automate their punctuation for a nice sentence flow. This is useful where several problems or related items need to be listed or enumerated within a particular comment sentence. To demonstrate, we are going to enable menu grouping on a few items on our report and show you the result. To start, we are going to select the type of grouping we want to use. Click Preferences on the top toolbar, and then select Preferences from the drop-down menu. You'll see an option called Narrative Grouping Style. Click the drop-down arrow to select the type of grouping style you wish to use. The alphabetic style puts letters such as A, B, and C before each of your grouped narrative items. The numeric style puts numbers such as 1, 2, and 3 before each of your grouped narrative items. The comma style puts commas after each narrative grouped item. It also adds the word AND before the last grouped narrative item. We will see examples of all three at the end of this video. For this example, we are going to use the comma style. Then click OK. Now we are going to make a few changes in the grounds section of our inspection by clicking on the grounds button and choosing the heading label landscaping. What we are going to do here is add a few menu items and show you how to use the grouping feature to create a group of locations which will later be inserted into our report in a grammatically correct manner. First I'm going to add a menu item with a placeholder in the middle. We'll start by clicking the add button in the narrative pane. We are going to abbreviate this narrative as veg close. Then we're going to click in the narrative text box and delete the text that was automatically imported into it. And we're going to type vegetation is too close to the, then put a space. Now we're going to click insert and choose placeholder from the drop down menu. A placeholder is convenient for adding specific details observed during the inspection right into the middle of a sentence. We'll see how this actually works in a bit. Now we'll finish typing our sentence with a space, then of the house, period. Then we're going to click OK. Now we have a new menu item called Veg Close in the narrative pane. Next, we're going to create a few more narratives. I'm going to again click on the Add button in the narrative pane. I am going to abbreviate this narrative as North, and then I'm going to give it the same for the narrative text. Then I'm going to put a check mark in the grouping box, as I want this item to be part of a group of related menu items. Then click OK. Now I'm going to repeat this procedure for the locations South, east and west. You'll notice that the four narratives I just added are all blue in the narrative pane. That shows that all these narratives use the grouping option. Now that we have all of our new narratives, I'm going to add the Veg Close narrative to our subheading by checkmarking it. You'll see that the sentence was added to the subheading and that there is a placeholder in the middle of the sentence that is highlighted. I'll now add the North narrative, the South narrative, the East narrative, and the West narrative. All four subheadings were automatically added to where the placeholder used to be. You'll notice that at this point there is no punctuation in the menu items I have chosen. However, as soon as I advance to the next subheading, it will insert commas between the menu items in the grouping, as well as adding the word AND for the word WEST, which is the final word in this grouping. Now let's see an example of the other two narrative grouping styles. Go ahead and delete your current text, and then uncheck each of your narrative boxes that we added in before. Then go to Preferences and select Preferences from the drop-down menu. Let's change the narrative grouping style from comma to alphabetic. Then click OK. Now we're going to add the Veg Close narrative, followed by North, South, East, 
and west. And now when we click in the next subheading, you'll see that there are alphabetical letters before each of the narrative items. Now let's again delete the text and uncheck our narrative boxes. And we'll again go to Preferences and select Preferences from the drop-down menu. This time we're going to change our narrative grouping style to Numeric. Then click OK. Again add your narratives. And click the next subheading. And now you'll see that we have numbers due to using the Numeric grouping style. Now we're done.